Yo, what's up legends? You want to make games but don't know where to start? Welcome, I will try in a few minutes to explain the basics. Today I'll show you how to start making games with Unity, the engine I know best. Maybe one day I'll check out Godot or Unreal, but today let's keep it simple, fun and achievable. Alright, why Unity? First, it's easy to get started with. The interface is intuitive and it lets you make games without feeling overwhelmed. Now every engine gives you tools to build games, but Unity's approach is straightforward and beginner friendly. This might sound like an ad, but it's not, I'm just telling you how it is. Another big reason is C Sharp. Even if you decide game dev isn't for you after a few months, learning C Sharp is a skill you can use elsewhere in web development, apps or even Godot which also supports C Sharp. So here's the plan, learn the basics of C Sharp first, it won't take forever, what takes longer is learning the framework and tools that come with it. Unity has its own framework but step by step you'll get the hang of them, trust me. Unity's community is a massive advantage. Compared to other engines, it's huge and super active. This community has already built tons of systems to save you from reinventing the wheel. Can't model? Check the Asus store. Need animations? They're there. Want AI or cars, terrain builders or road making tools? Yep, all there. Some are free, some aren't and sometimes you might not find exactly what you need. But for beginners, the Asset Store is like having a helping hand to speed up your learning. Beyond that, there are endless tutorials on YouTube for making systems, games and whatever else you can dream up. The community makes starting out so much easier, I lean on them, it's a game changer. Hmm, still watching? If you're this far in, you're definitely interested. So how about a like and a subscribe, it helps me out and keeps you updated, deal? Creating a game is an entire art, it's not just writing logic. You need to craft an engaging user interface that stands out, especially compared to traditional apps. Then there are the visuals, sprites, textures, 3D models if you're diving into that, and of course, sound effects, music and other stuff. Um, it's like cooking the perfect dish, everything must come together harmoniously, no extra ingredients, no missing spices. But the real challenge is keeping players engaged for the long haul. That means adding content, updates or even DLCs, all of which take a lot of resources. However, if you enjoy the process, the crafting, the designing, the sharing of your ideas with the community, it's incredible rewarding. And let's be real, no one truly makes a game just for themselves. Deep down, we all want to share our creations, get feedback and build a little community or maybe a big one, around our ideas. I'm not saying this to intimidate you, I want you to be prepared and excited for this creative journey. Here's the truth, to succeed, you have to stay consistent. Everyone goes through hard times, even when it feels like everything's falling apart. Patience and resilience are key, but also have fun with it. If making your game feels like a chore, players will sense that. Your passion needs to shine through, so don't pressure yourself. Make it enjoyable, that's how you create something people will love. Ok, so this is the Unity Hub, where we can create new projects or we can install a new Unity version. We just press here and select what version we want, but I recommend to you just to install only LTS versions. That means that this is a long term support version. Just press here and activate option that you want for your projects. Let's go back and let's go to the projects. Here we have the button new project, we press on it and we can choose a template that we want. If we want to make a 2D game, then we choose this one. If we want to make a 3D game, then we choose this one. What are the difference between these templates? The difference is that, that every template comes with some package, so for example, if we will choose FPS micro game, then here we'll have some examples and some packages that are destined for FPS micro game. So let's leave it 3D, here we can set the name, 
where we'll save this project and which organization we will use. Don't worry, this is just your account. Okay, I won't create a new project because I already have it created. Okay, so what we have here, let's take a look at the project. Here we have all the assets in this project, like scenes, textures, 3D models, animations, music and all the files. So for example, when we create a new project, we have a sample scene. This is the base scene, we can go here and create a new one if we want. My scene. Okay, what is that? This is a preview of the open scene. In each scene we can add game objects and to add them we need to take a look at hierarchy. Here we press on the right mouse button and just create an empty object. This presents nothing, just a transform component. Let's create another one, for example a 3D object, a cube. This is our cube, so what is the difference from the game object and the cube? They both are game objects, but the cube has three new components like mesh filter, mesh renderer and box collider. Mesh filter contains the reference to the cube, here we can connect other models. The second component is how this mesh will render, like we have default material, but we can create a new material for example. And set the color to red. And if we'll drag it here, our sphere will become red. And the last component is box collider. Initially it was a box here, so that means that we can make collisions with this cube. And each component has its own properties, so we can modify them. So for example, we modify the bounds of collision. And to test our game, we need to press play. And now we are at the game window. So here is the scene and here is the game. We can take it and drag it to the right side. And now we will see the both windows at the same time. We can modify some properties of camera, if we want. Like to set a solid color. Okay, and what if I want to make this cube to fall? Let's make a platform. This is another cube. Let's modify the position. And let's modify its scale, like 25. Here leave 1 and 25. Then choose this cube and we have to add here rigid body. And now if we will press play, the cube will fall. But how we see our red cube fell through this platform. That is because of the box collider. So we need to reset its bounds to match the cube mesh, like 1, 1, 1 and 0. And ok, it's good. And if we want to make our own script, we go here and create it from here. Let's name it as move cube. And we can take and drag it on the cube. And now we will see that this script is attached to this cube. Let's make a double click here. I won't explain everything that you see here. You can find a lot of videos on YouTube and you will understand how this works. Press play. And now we can see that it moves. So that's all. I wanted to show how easy it is to create something inside Unity. Of course I have shown you only the basics, but here we have a lot of windows, a lot of components, a lot of properties that you will learn every day. That's all for today. If you got questions, drop them in the comments. And don't forget, there's a link to the Discord in the description. Let's discuss your ideas and creations there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Stay awesome and happy game dev.